Dear students, today we will learn to draw the brachial plexus more easily. Before drawing the brachial plexus, we have to draw a rectangular box in the kata like this. And we will divide the box into five parts. Three, four and five. Now we will draw the roots of the brachial plexus that is the ventral ramen of cervical 5, cervical 6, cervical 7, cervical 8 and thoracic 1 spinal nerve. If we unite the cervical 5 and cervical 6 root then the upper trunk of the plexus is formed. The cervical 7 will continue as the middle trunk and cervical 8 by the union of the thoracic one will form the lower trunk of the plexus. There are four branches from the root and trunk. From the root two branches one is the dorsal scapular nerve and another is the long thoracic nerve. From the trunk there are also two branches one is suprascapular nerve and another is nerve to subclavius. Every trunk will divide it into anterior and posterior divisions. If the anterior division of upper trunk meet with the anterior division of the middle trunk, then the lateral cord will form and the branches of the lateral cord will be the musculocutaneous nerve and the lateral root of the median nerve. There is also a branch named lateral pectoral nerve. Now, the inferior trunk is also have the anterior division and the posterior division. Anterior division continue as the medial cord and medial cord will give rise the ulnar nerve and the medial root of the median nerve. There are also three branches from the medial cord, medial pectoral nerve, medial cutaneous nerve of the arm and medial cutaneous nerve of the forearm. Now we will join the posterior division of all the trunks. It will form the posterior cord and the posterior cord will give rise to axillary nerve and radial nerve. It will also give the upper and lower subscapular nerve and thoraco dorsal nerve. Now the labeling should be done and the figure lesion should be written and the drawing of the brachial pieces will be completed. You are thinking that oh uh, it has taken so much time to draw a process. Let's draw these things in one minute. Okay? It is the box. From here, one, two, three, four, five. Cervical five, cervical six, cervical seven, cervical eight, thoracic one, cervical five, and unite to from the upper trunk. Seven has middle trunk, and eight and thoracic one from the lower trunk. From the upper trunk. The root here is one branch, here is the thor long thoracic nerve. From the trunk, two branches, upper trunk, anterior division, posterior division, middle trunk, anterior division, posterior division, anterior division of the upper and the middle trunk from the lateral cord. It gives us the musculocutaneous and the lateral root of the medial nerve. It also gives to the lateral pectoral nerve. Now lower trunk, posterior division and anterior division. Anterior division continue as the medial cord, give the stalnar nerve and the medial root of the median nerve and also give rest to the medial pectoral, medial cutis of the arm and forearm. Now we will join the posterior divisions and it will form the posterior cord, it gives rise to the axillary nerve and radial nerve also give us the upper and lower subscapular nerve and the 
Oracle or something. It's all about ranking users.